Hey guys, Renee here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting a vlog and I'm really excited for this vlog because I am on my way to New York. So I live in New Jersey and where I live in New Jersey, New York is about two hours without traffic, um, which so far we've gotten lucky. Um, so the ride has not been that bad. Um, we're going to be there for the weekend because we're celebrating my birthday this weekend. My birthday was yesterday. Um, so we are going to New York. I love New York City. I haven't been there in years, not since before the pandemic, um, but I do love it. So. I think it'll be fun just to go for the weekend. There's some shops I want to stop in. There's some places I want to go eat. I have some reservations made. So I am really excited. Um, some of my friends are coming down tomorrow. So today is just really going to be me and Teddy and some of our friends that already live in New York. Um, so we're about an hour out. I just wanted to let you know that we're on our way to New York. So I will talk to you when we get there. forgot to update earlier but it's nighttime now um teddy and i pretty much just did a bunch of walking around some shopping some exploring today took a bunch of photos and one of the places that we stopped in was the strand bookstore which i had always wanted to check out because i'd always heard and seen people go to it and i just wanted to see what it was and it was really cool obviously there was a lot it was a little overwhelming i did not know where to look to find the books that i was trying to find but I did end up buying a few books. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a little mini haul. So this one is actually a book that I've been wanting for months. And it was the first one I found like immediately when I walked in. So that's when I thought that it was meant to be. And that is so sad today. This is um, a collection of personal essays by Melissa Broder. Um, I have heard a lot of mixed things about this book, but I'm really, really intrigued about it. It's supposed to be a dark, but also funny and just realistic as well. Um, and I'm really intrigued to see what it's about. So yeah, there's this one. Then I also got A Certain Hunger by Chelsea Summers. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw the title, when I heard about this, I was really turned off because I don't often pay attention to covers like this. Um, but then I read the synopsis. Pretty much the only thing I needed to know is that she eats men. Just for fun, I also got Layla by Colleen Hoover. This is Colleen Hoover's other thriller book and I really enjoyed Verity. So I'm excited to give this one a try. I was nervous about this one for a while because I know quite a bunch of people actually did not like this one, but my friend Jan recently read it and she loved it. Um, and I think I should take that with a grain of salt because me and Jan do have very opposite opinions on books, it seems like, but I'm gonna try it anyway, just because I really liked Verity. So these, are the three that I got and I'm really excited that I was able to find these because I really wanted to get these two specifically so mission accomplished it took a while to find them but we did it 
So yeah, we went to the Strand, we went to dinner. Um, we're back at our hotel now. We're about ready to go out um, or I guess in because the hotel that we're staying at actually has a rooftop lounge that's like encased with glass. It's not like actually outside, so it won't be freezing, but it's upstairs. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm about to change um, and get a little bit more fancy and then go try it. And then if we don't like it, we're gonna try other places. So we're gonna start the nighttime now and I'll talk to you later. afternoon i didn't update you much this morning but you'll see some clips of kind of what we did just walk around and stuff if you hear stuff in the background it is because my boyfriend and one of my good friends are taking photos because our hotel room has got a really nice view so uh, at the moment we are just chilling and relaxing because we walked eight miles today and we're gonna go get banchan for dinner and i'm super excited because i haven't been to banchan in so long so I am excited. And from there, um, we're gonna meet up with some other friends and go out. So I'll take you along with me. Last night we got back really late, but it was a really fun time. And this morning we are just going out to a brunch. I made a reservation for this cute little French place, um, like a 10 minute walk from here. And I'm really excited. And once again, my friends are coming out for this as well. And then we're gonna head home. And to be honest, I'm really looking forward to seeing my cats, but it's been fun. New York is a fun city. It just is a very exhausting city. <laughs> but we did a lot of walking. So if I don't lose five pounds this weekend, then I need to redo it. But look at this. Still can't get over the view from our hotel. Hello, Empire State. Taylor Swift owns the Empire State Building. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna finish getting ready and then go eat. I'm home now we just drove back it was about an hour and 50 on the way back which wasn't that bad traffic was pretty light 
Um, so we're home. We just spent a little bit unpacking and playing with our cats because we missed them. But essentially, I did want to wrap this up with kind of an overall review of the trip, which I had a great time. Like, honestly, my birthday weekend was such a blast. And I do enjoy New York City. I will say New York City is one of those places that you have to take in doses. I definitely don't believe in romanticizing New York City uh, because it's definitely a very surface level um, thing that you see. Like when someone posts something on Instagram, it's like you don't see what they went through to get to that point. My legs are really tired and my feet hurt from walking like 10 miles a day. I love city walking because it's like a different type of walking. Like you're always entertained. There's always something to see. So that is fun. A couple of the places that we went out were really, really fun. Um, our hotel, we stayed at the Moxie in Chelsea. And at the top of that hotel, there is a rooftop lounge, which is like encased in glass. So like you're not actually freezing, um, but it's called the floor room, like F-L-E-U-R. And I had heard mixed reviews about it online, but going there, honestly, the reviews were so incorrect. It was very, very fun. It is a little bit more like bougie, I would say. Like you definitely have to be dressed really nice when you go there, but it was so fun. They played good music, the drinks were good, the vibe was good, and it was just a fun time. So we stayed there like all of Friday instead of hopping just because it was such a fun time. And it was in our hotel, so we just go back down to our room when we got tired. And then Saturday night, when my friends got there, we went out to a couple other places. We bar hopped on the Lower East Side, and it took a couple stops to kind of find the vibe we wanted. We started with Kind Regards, which I had also heard a lot of mixed reviews on, and a lot of those reviews actually were correct. It wasn't an awful time, but it's just so crowded in there. You literally, like, can't move. Like... It was just like sardines like packed because it's so small. It's like cool looking and they were playing good music um, and their drinks were good. So like it had all of the makings of like being a fun time, but it was just way too overpopulated. And like there's a second level, like a basement with like disco balls and stuff and like a lot more of a lounge feeling versus the bar. Um, but good luck ever getting down there unless you're like first in line at 9 30 like half an hour before it opens because that line we watched it for like 20 minutes and it didn't punch and we were like all right so we just kind of finished our drinks upstairs and squeezed our way on out of that because you can't even really dance in there like they're playing good music but like you're so packed that you can like go like this so that had potential but was just not a vibe and then we went to Hair of the Dog, which is more of a dive bar-like place. And that was cool. They were playing the sports games. Me and my boyfriend are into sports, so it was cool, like, kind of turning around and being able to see that. But it was also really crowded as well with a very wide variety of people. <laughs> so that was cool, but the drink, awful, and the music, not that good. So it was kind of the opposite of Kind Regards, just with the same amount of people. And then we ended up leaving there, and we went to a place called the Skinny Lounge. And that was, that was the vibe that we wanted. It wasn't dead, but it also wasn't overpopulated. You could walk around, you could dance, you could get a drink at the bar. I mean, you did still have to squeeze through some people to get to the bathroom, but it, that was no big deal. And the drinks were good. The music was good. And they were decorated completely with like Christmas decorations, like their ceiling. And then they had like Christmas paper wrapped on their walls. So that was pretty cool. Um, so that was a vibe. So we ended up staying there for the rest of the night, but that's kind of my experience in the Lower East Side on a Saturday. Some places worth it, some places not. But the good thing about the Lower East Side is there's so many bars in that area that you can just hop around until you find exactly what you're looking for. So I definitely am happy that we chose to go out in that area. But really, I feel like that'll be the same with like anywhere in New York. Like there's just so much to do and see. You're always going to find something. If your first stop doesn't work out, just keep going. Don't be afraid to leave, just keep going. You'll find something and you'll make a good night out of it. So those are all the places that we went out out. Um, and for breakfast this morning, we went to this really cute French bistro called Lulu. It was so good. Honestly, some of the best French toast that I've ever had. Really cute vibes, really nice bathrooms. Honestly, the nicest public bathroom I went to this whole trip was in that bistro. Honestly, it was such a good breakfast. Really happy that we went there. Um, but yeah, had a lot of really good food did a lot of dancing, had a lot of walking, and a lot of shopping too. I went to the Strand, I showed you that. But yeah, overall, it was a great trip. I, I'm pretty tired, so I'm sorry if this wrap up is kind of like really sporadic and, and just tired, but New York, 
New York. Overall, it was a really fun time and it was really good seeing my friends. And I am not going to ramble anymore because I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this vlog. I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below to help support this channel. And also hit subscribe to follow me on my reading journey if you haven't already. Like always, all of my socials will be linked down below. And yeah, once again, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!